How old is the Earth? From a scientific point of view, that's a fascinating question. Interestingly enough, however, there's not an easy scientific answer to that question. That's because you can use various different ways of trying to gauge the age of the Earth, and these various different ways produce various different ages. Uh, in my looking at the scientific literature, I found at least 68 different processes that have been used to measure or to estimate the age of the Earth. And these processes give wildly different uh, answers. Some of these processes indicate the Earth is only a few hundred years old. That can't possibly be correct. History tells us it's older than that. Other processes indicate the Earth is a few thousand years old. Others indicate a few million years old. Others indicate a few billion years old. Now in science, if I want to have a firm answer to a question, I need lots of independent methods to give me the same answer. Unfortunately, we don't have that for the age of the Earth. Obviously, some of these processes we use to estimate the age of the Earth probably aren't very good for their purpose. Probably others are. So the question is now, if I look at all these different processes, which ones do I think are the most reasonable, are the most reliable ones to uh, figure out, uh, estimate the age of the Earth? When I narrow my focus and look at only those methods that seem to be most reliable, I end up getting a fairly young age for the Earth. So for example, one of the most reliable methods I think for dating the Earth is looking at, at its magnetic field. We know the Earth has a magnetic field, it's what makes the compass needle point north. But more importantly, it protects us from cosmic rays coming from the Sun. The Sun is producing cosmic rays and if they hit us, they would kill us. The Earth's magnetic field keeps that from happening, so we know for certain as long as there was life on Earth, there's been a magnetic field. Now, because the magnetic field is so important, we've been measuring it for quite a while. Scientists have nearly 200 years worth of measurements of the strength of the magnetic field. And over those 200 years, the strength of the magnetic field has been decreasing. All right? So it's getting weaker and weaker as time goes on. Now, the best explanation for the fact that the Earth's magnetic field has been decreasing comes from young Earth creationists, that the Earth's magnetic field is, is developed through um, uh, electrical currents that occur near the center of the Earth. Those electrical currents are decreasing in time because of the resistance of the Earth's core and so forth. Um, if we just sort of assume we can go backwards in time and reconstruct the magnetic field, if it's been decreasing for 200 years, we can go backwards and say, well, 300 years ago it was even stronger 400 years ago it was even stronger, a couple thousand years ago it was even stronger. It turns out that the only good explanation for the decrease we're seeing in the magnetic field is that it was, it's a short-lived magnetic field. It has probably only existed for 10,000 years or less. If the Earth was much more than 10,000 years old, the magnetic field's decrease that we see today doesn't make much sense. So in the end, that method indicates the Earth is on the order of 10,000 years or so. Now there are other methods that indicate the Earth is even younger than that, and there are other methods that indicate the Earth is older than that. As a scientist, here's what I see. If I look at all the different processes that can be used to estimate the age of the Earth, I see that most of these processes are consistent with a young Earth, a Earth on the order of thousands of years old. And, most, and very few processes are consistent with an Earth being very old, like billions of years old. So in the end, I think the weight of the scientific evidence is that the Earth is thousands of years old. This also perfectly coincides with what Scripture indicates about the Earth. Scripture indicates that the Earth was created relatively recently and hasn't been around for much more than a few thousand years. And so since the majority of these processes are consistent with the thousands of year old Earth, and the Bible the, at least the most straightforward interpretation of the Bible indicates that, I think that the, most, the safest assumption is that the earth is only thousands of years old.